So truncations, the prisms, the hexagon. Step one, truncated orthographic projection. So you'll have a truncated front view. You'll either be given the dimensions to create a truncated front view, or they'll be drawn for you. In our case, we have our cut given, and we have the dimensions to create the front view. Step two, projecting the truncation onto the other views. So once we have the truncated front view, then we can create the truncated plan and the truncated end view. 3. 3D sketch of the truncated prism. Now this one technically does not have any marks dedicated to it. And I'm not going to do it because this video is already going to be quite long. But the 3D sketch of truncated prism, if you're a beginner, as you are, it will help you because it will allow you to see in one way the, trunk, the cut view. Step 4. The development and step 5. True shape of cut. The true shape of cut will allow us to see the cut, the full complete cut in its true form and with the proper dimensions, with the true dimensions. Let's see the question now. Construct a truncated orthographic projection, development and true shape of cut of a hexagonal prism of height 70 millimeters. So there, I know that the front view is going to be 70 millimeters in length. So let's create that, the base, the backbone, the basis of the front view and end view. So for now, I think as per normal, just creating the outlines for the front view and end view. So don't forget, 15 millimeter spacing from the top and from the side. Forty-five degree line. And seventy millimeters in height. Okay, so here I have the truncated front view, the basic plan end view and the basic plan. Okay? Now we're going to plot the numbers, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We're going to place the numbers on the front view and on the end view. So I'm going to extend these lines from all points. Okay, now if I'm looking from the front view, the front view is from over here, like this, I'm seeing like this, so I can see 1 is going over here, 2 and 6 are going over here, 6 is on the back, so it's hidden, so it's in brackets, 3 and 5 over here, 5 is on the back, so it's hidden, so it's in brackets, from here I see 4, now for the end view, for the end view I'm going to be looking from here, Okay, so from the end view, I see 1 and 4 over here. 4 is on the back, so it's hidden, so it's in brackets. From here, I see 6 and 5. 5 is on the back, so it's hidden, so it's in brackets. It doesn't matter which I write at the top or the bottom, okay? And from here, I see 2 and 3. 3 is on the back, so 3 is hidden. Okay? So there... I have the basic parts. 
okay? Now, we're going to find out how to create truncation on the plan and truncation on the end view. Truncation on the plan is so easy. All you have to see is where the top of the truncation hits the horizontal line. In this case, it's over here. And you drop a, a vertical line onto the plan. Where it is on the plan, you draw the bold line. So you can see where the cut begins, of the truncation begins. So here, it's completely solid. And from here on down, it's truncated, it's cut. Okay? Now, let's say instead of the cut being like this, let's say instead of the cut being like this, it was like this, right? So the cut would be here. And when you drop a line from here, you don't intersect, intercept the plan, so you don't draw a line on the plan. It means that the whole plan is cut off at the top, so you leave it as is. Now, for the end view. For the end view. Now, can you see? Now, we're going to draw, we're going to find point one first. Point one of the cut on the end view. So, point one on the front view is over here. So, you go up till it meets the cut. And where it meets the cut, you drop a horizontal line. So this line is dedicated to 1. This line is number 1. So I see where the line of number 1 from the front view meets the line of number 1 from the end view. And they meet here. So here I have point 1. I'm going to do the same thing for points 2 and 6. This is the line for 2 and 6, right? Because the line, the vertical line, meets the cuts here. And from there, I draw a horizontal line. So for point 2, I go here. I see where the line for from the end view of 2 is. It's over here. And they meet over here. For point 6, it's 6 is here from the end view. I see where they meet. And it's over here. 6, okay? Now for 3 and 5, the 3 and 5, the lines are up here. The line is already drawn for us. So 3 and 3, they meet over here. And 5 and 5, they meet over here. Okay? Okay? So now you just join them together. There you have the cut on the end view. That's it, simple as that. So this is the first part of the video. Now move on to the second.